News 6 uncovers disturbing new details about the prime suspect in the disappearance of college student Mia Marcano. Glad you're with us on this Friday. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, a $15,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to Mia Marcano. This as searchers spend a second day combing through a wooded area in New Smyrna Beach. The family says investigators told them the prime suspect's cell phone pinged there after Mia disappeared. News 6 has learned Armando Caballero is accused of becoming violent with another woman who turned down his sexual advances just months before Mia disappeared. New 6's Nikki Zizaza has the story new at 11. As the family of Mia Marcano gathered here once again to pray for her safe return one week after she vanished, we are learning more about suspicious allegations connected to the prime suspect in her disappearance. As speculation continues to swirl about what happened to Mia Marcano, nearly 200 people gathered for a prayer vigil at the Arden Villas apartment complex where she was last seen one week ago. My God in whom I trust. Following days of hours long ground searches, we're learning more about the soul suspect in her disappearance. Sheriff's office. This police report and body worn camera video Seminole County Sheriff's Office shared with News 6 reveals Armando Caballero is no stranger to being accused of disturbing behavior. We have a broken window. There's a, a weight that was thrown into the window. Six months before Mia Marcano disappeared from Arden Villa's apartment complex, the prime suspect in her disappearance, 27 year old Caballero, was employed at Sable Club Apartments in Longwood as a maintenance worker. The same complex investigators say he committed suicide. Deputies responded to the apartment complex on March 17 on a report of a suspicious incident. A young woman alleging a maintenance worker named Armando wrote her a note asking her out, which she agreed to. But after he requested they meet sooner, she declined. The woman telling police she didn't see the person who did it, but believes Armando, the maintenance man, threw a weight through her bedroom window. While the sheriff's office could not confirm Armando's last name, investigators say Armando Caballero's fingerprints were found on the note. However, they could not officially link him to the incident. I guess right now all we really have is criminal messages. Eerily suspicious circumstances with Caballero as a prime suspect. Now, as you mentioned, Crime Line announced a $15,000 reward for any information leading to Mia Marcano's whereabouts. In Orange County, Nikki Zaza getting results, News 6. And here is one more look at Mia. She was last seen wearing this same red or pink shirt you see in this photo with a black hoodie. If you have any information, you're asked to call the sheriff's office and share her photo from the new six Facebook page.